Hi, I'm Adam White. Welcome to my studio. I'm here to tell you a little bit about my brand new Big Room Progressive House Sample Pack, which is out now through Loop Masters. Um, pack's been put together with the Big Room mind and influences have come from sounds such as the records that Tool Room have been putting out throughout the summer, um, producers like Cascade, Dead Mouse and Michael Woods with a little bit of my own melodic influence thrown in there to give it that Adam White feel. Um, there's four major parts to the pack, the drums and percussion, the leads, the basses and the chords and there's also a really cool little sampler pack in there as well so you can take sounds and load them up into your host sampler. In this case the ESX24 because I use Logic. Um, all the loops have been acidized which means they'll work with your sequencer. For example as I'm an Apple user I'll be using the Apple loops. These will time stretch, transpose and be fully editable within your sequencer which makes the whole usability of the pack really really good and makes it really quick and easy to kind of pick a loop and see if it works. The loops have been put together using a combination of soft synths within Logic, the ES1 and the ES2, um, also a lot of processing that I've used uh, with the Ozo, uh, UAD and also the Power Core along with some of Logic's internal effects as well. There's also uh, two outboard pieces of equipment that I use. The first is this, the, the Novation, which belongs to a friend of mine um, who's going to want it back now. Uh, I use that in the pads and the leads. Um, I've also got an old Korg Mono 700 analog synth, uh, which I picked a load of sounds out of and sampled a few years ago. So I've recalled them and tweaked them a little bit and use them in the bass section of this pack. So you've got a mix of digital sounds and nice warm analog sounds. Uh, I'm gonna now show you three grooves which I've put together to demonstrate the diversity of the pack and also the simplicity of, of how you can put together something quite complex using only a handful of loops. So we're gonna jump into the sequencer now and take a look at those. So here we are within Logic and this is an example of the first groove that I've put together using samples from the Big Room Progressive House Pack. Um, very quickly what we have here is um, a section of different melodies. Um, if I solo these for a section you can have a listen. As you can hear, they're all working really nicely together. They're all in the key of G. Um, everything's in folders in key order, so it's nice and easy to work out. Um, but you can always transpose them once you've imported them into the sequence. So that's the beauty of the acidized loops. We've got a bass, which is coming from a patch from the ESX24. Um, there's a section of sampler patches contained within the pack um, and I've used some of these for the bass and drums as you can see. Let's have a listen. Very simple bass pattern there. Um, and if we just solo some of these drums, you can also hear what's going on there. So they're all coming out of the ESX24. The crash was coming out of the ESX, but I like to bounce my crashes down um, just so you can kind of, you know, control where the crash comes in. Uh, you've got a little bit more versatility. You can also reverse them to kind of give you different effects. So I just find it easier with crashes and effects to use them as audio files, but that's just a personal thing. We've got a side chain up here which is triggering every beat to kind of give the whole track that vamp. 
Um, very few of the loops are recorded with a side chain on. I think one or two of the melodic loops might be, but I've recorded them without a side chain on, which means they'll respond a lot better when you use your own side chain within the track. So let's have a listen to this first groove with everything playing together. And that's about it. You can hear that I've put a couple of filters at the end of this. There's just a low cut and a high cut there just to uh, give it a little bit of an ending. Um, but it just goes to show you how versatile and editable these loops are within your DAW. So uh, that's the first groove. Um, let's move on to the next groove. Okay, so here's the second example of a groove we're dealing with today. Slightly different this time because I'm using a complete drum loop rather than um, using a kick, a snare and separate parts. So I've got one drum loop. As you can see, I've used the complete loops where they break down and kind of change themselves. Uh, let's just have a listen through this drum loop on its own. As you can hear, really full sound, loads of cool stuff going on here. Um, and as you can see, actually looking at this, this is completely made up of loops from the pack. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything played in apart from these two bits of percussion here. Um, the bass loop is a loop. Um, the lead loop is a loop and the chord loop is a loop. Um, let's have a listen to them separately and see how they sound. Now, as you can hear, I've um, I've messed about with those a little. Let's have a look and see what I've done. Yep, I thought so. Um, there's just some filters on there to kind of control how the loop comes in and comes out and give it a little bit more modulation. Um, I've just used the um, channel EQ in Logic. I find that's a really, really good versatile filter. Um, but any filter would work um, just to basically give it a little bit more movement, a little bit more structure. So let's have a listen to this groove all together. simple as that. I've got one more groove to show you, um, so let's move on to that one. So here we are with the third and final groove. This one's my favourite. Um, it's kind of on that tall room, Michael Woods kind of groove, um, very funky, very techy, um, which is using 
the tuned percussion, which is in the drum loop section of the pack. Um, something that's become really kind of paramount throughout the sort of sound of summer 2011 are those kind of tuned percussion grooves that really give a track a techie melodic edge, but without actually adding a melody to them. Let's just have a listen through these on their own. As you can hear, they sound a bit strange on their own. Um, but if we add them into what we've got within this pack, um, you'll kind of get a better idea. Um, you can see there's not much musically going on here. We've got a bass line, which I've played in from one of the ESX sampler patches. Also a string that I've played in from one of the ESX sampler patches in the pack. Um, we've got some snare hits, um, a crash, um, and a little loop here. Let's Sorry, let's just have a listen to that one. So very simple, um, but you'll hear that the, the track actually sounds quite complex because of this tuned percussion things that are going on. So uh, let's have a listen to everything all together. So that's that. You can hear that was left quite minimal. That was more of an example of what you can do with the tuned percussion. Uh, if you have a listen to the actual full demo track for this pack, there's something produced within there with a little bit more detailing um, with some effects on the tuned percussion and so forth. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed a pack. Have lots and lots of fun with your production. If you've got any questions, get in touch with me through Facebook. Simply search for Adam White and you'll find my fan page there. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you again real soon.